good morning children welcome back to pvs class now i want you all to open the textbook textbook and page number 212 last class we had started with new chapter that is lesson number 10 our neighborhood is it last class we had started with this lesson and i had done almost half of the lesson and remaining half let us continue today and before that i will go back and glance little bit and then we'll continue with remaining part and then the exercises and one more thing is you will be having s1 exams as early as possible another one week i hope you all might have got the dates probably by 27th of this month so i'll be starting even the revision you know, your worksheet also will be uploaded don't worry if it's not uploaded still because it takes time but still i'll be starting the revision if you study this revision that is more than enough okay first you start copying down the revision uh, whatever i am giving on the board in separate book mention is a one revision as i give uh, main by first main second main whatever i give everything should be in continuity in the same book okay you can keep one more one small book for all the subjects you can write in one book itself it will be easy for you to study make partitions all the five subjects and you can write down okay after the completion of this lesson i'll be giving one or two mains revision also so that you can study from today itself okay children worksheet will be coming don't worry that worksheet has not yet come it will come but before that i'm giving the revision you can study okay mainly you concentrate on Uh, revision itself. What I am giving the revision that is only for exam part. I am selecting all uh, questions from all the chapters. I am altering and then I am giving so that it will be easy for you. Okay. Now coming to chapter uh, our neighborhood. Uh, last class I had started with this lesson. Okay. What is neighbor people who are living next to you, next to your house? They are called your neighbors and the places that is surrounding. you and uh, like uh, hospital police station all these things the places surrounding us in our environment of our neighborhood places okay so which are neighborhood places market hospital post office police station park school places of worship that is temples okay so we had finished market place hospital post office park and today we will start with school okay now market means you all know as usual like you, whatever things fruits vegetables everything you go to buy there in the market okay and then coming to hospital hospital uh, hospital in your area it will be there in any one big area hospital small clinics everything will be there and when you are not keeping well when you fall sick you go to hospital you will consult the doctor so doctor will treat you and the nurse will take care of you when people are admitted in the hospital the nurse takes care and doctor is the person who treats you for your sickness okay so next is post office post office is it's very important post office also nowadays you don't find so many people writing letters and all but Uh, earlier this was the main uh, media mediating thing like so that they used to write letters and post it and uh, the means of communication you can tell and from far away places those people they used to receive your letters so but nowadays since phones are there everything will be talking over the phone you will be seeing them in video call everything but still post offices are used for main few purposes um they'll be depositing money also fdr the whatever everything is there and post cards stamps everything we get in post offices only okay now some parcels also they'll be sending uh, money orders also will be going so the, now still the post offices are working but writing letter and all is not there so much but other things will be going on in the post offices okay now coming to park park is main uh, this thing attraction and important everything for children and even for elders also children they like to play in park that is a kind of 
um, energy giving kind, the refreshing, the recreation, everything for children and as well as for uh, elders also. So when you go in the evening times, you can see all children will be playing swing, slide, everything in the park. And the elders, you can see, they'll be walking around. It will be like a walking point also for them. So this is how park is a neighborhood place. You can see nearby to your house, there'll be a park. So every each and area, they'll be having a park. So this is a neighborhood place. Now, next comes to the school. Okay. Now, school. We have a school in our neighborhood. Uh, neighborhood. School is a place where we go to study. So what is school? School is a place where we go and study. You all come to school. Your house also will be nearby somewhere. So school is a neighborhood place. Now we learn many new things in school. In school, what do you do? You learn many new, new things. You learn lessons. So next year you learn more advanced lessons, everything. So like this, apart from that, you will be learning games, sports, curricular activities and all will be there. So all these things are new for you. So when you come to school, you will be learning new, new things. Children of a neighborhood go to the same school to study. So children who are staying nearby to your house, all your neighbors, everything. What happens? Many of them, they go together to the same school. Next is police station. So what is the uh, interesting of police station? Police station is also very important. We have a police station in our neighborhood. You can see police station nearby also. The police keeps us and our neighborhood safe. Though what happens? The police people, they keep all of our uh, neighborhood places, neighbors, uh, nearby, everyone so safe. So by uh, how they do that, they catch the robbers, thieves, and they'll be guarding the uh, those areas, you can tell. So if police people is there, robbers and all, they don't come on, they'll get scared. Otherwise, if they come, they'll put them into jail. So, and they help us to find our lost things. If you lose anything, and um, any gold item, something, if it is robbed or something, or if it is lost also, you will go to the police station, you will give the complaint, they will lodge a fire or whatever the procedure, and they will find the thing for you. Okay. Apart from the traffic police, people, they control the traffic signals so that they should not meet with an accident. So avoid the accidents. Traffic police people, they control traffic signals everywhere. Now, coming next to bank. Bank. So, what does bank do? Bank, in bank, we have a bank in our neighborhood. Even there is a bank. You can see bank here. So, many SBA bank is there, PMC bank is there, S bank is there. So, nearby places because bank is very important for all the people in their daily life, daily bank. How much it is important? A bank is a place where we can keep our money safe. So all your money and all, if you keep at home, robbers may come apart from police people, they are guarding them. But still, what happens? Every time they can't keep watching only one house. No? So for your safety, what you do? You keep your money and all in the bank. So bank will have the lockers, they will have safety, security guard, everything will be there. So that is the reason they keep money in the banks. We take out the money from the bank when we need it. So whenever you want money, you can take out the money from the bank. So bank even they will be having the timings from morning 9 to 3 or 4 o'clock. By that time you can go and withdraw your money. Now, apart from that, you can see the ATMs everywhere. You will be having a card. If you swipe the card, you will get the money. So that it will be 24 hours. Anytime you can go and take the money. To take money from ATM card also, what happens? Your money should be in the bank account. So bank is very important for each and every person. Now, next is the places of worship. Places of worship. 
So, what are the places of worship? Now, Hindus they go and pray in temple. Muslims there they go they go to pray in mosque. And Christ, uh, Christians they go and pray in church. Okay, and the six and all they go and pray in Guru Dwaram. So these are the places where they go and pray. So places of worship, worship means you are praying to God. Okay, we have places of worship in our neighborhood. Now you can see here nearby, uh, there is a temple next to our school also. Yes, so people go to different places of worship and offer their prayers. Now, not only temple, temple nearby here and all this, but still out of station you'll be finding big, big temples, famous temples. So, so this temple is famous for this god. Now, Tirpati is famous for Srinivasa Tirpati. Okay. And the same way uh, in uh, Hornado Annapurnisha temple. Like this, so many temples are there, but in different places out of station. So what you all do in your family, everybody, when you get vacation or a long leave, you all plan for a trip or something to the temple. You go and visit the temple during holidays. So that is also a place of worship. So you go and pray God there. So like this, there are so many temples near our houses also. And this is a neighborhood place. Out of station also you have got temples. There people who are staying there near those temples for them, that is the neighborhood place. So overall, what is the meaning? The place where it is surrounded near to you, where you find the you know, temples in places near you, that is called neighborhood place. We should keep our neighborhood clean. So always your neighborhood next to your surrounding environment, the roads, everything, it should be clean. We should not throw garbage outside our house or on the roads. You should not throw that dirty things or whatever that to throw for the garbage this thing will be having you know, all that dustbin things and all you should not throw on the road we should throw the waste in the bins you can see on the roadside on the end of the road there will be a bins use me like that so you have to put it in that and the government people what they will do they have allotted the people to take the dust uh, uh, all this rubbish things and all so they will come and they will pick. We should not disturb our neighbors. You should not disturb your neighbor people. We should play safely. You have to play safely. We should not play loud music late in the night. We should help our neighbors when they are in need. You should not play loud music. So if you give more volume, TV volume or music, tape recorders, this thing, what happens? Next to your house, people who are staying, it will be disturbing for them. So you should not disturb like that. And you should help your neighbors when they are in need. So neighbor people, if they want some help, any small help, something is uh, lost or their door, door lock is not opening properly, they may come and ask you some help. So then you have to go and help them. Or they want to go somewhere, they'll be leaving the child in your house. So at that time, you have to take care of the child for some time. So this is how small, small things will be helping. If they need any eatables or something, they'll come and ask. And even you may go and ask for them any necessary any vegetable in urgent you need. So you'll go and ask your neighbor person only. Instead of going to the market and buying, it takes long time, very urgent it is. Quickly you want to do something, then you go and ask your neighbors. So at that time, the neighbor people should help you. And you should help your neighbors when they are in need. So always you have to help each other. That is how it goes on. Okay. So by this, I have completed the lesson, children. It's very easy, simple thing. Every day in your life, what all these things are going on, what all the things you are seeing surrounding you when you go out, that is what the lesson is. Neighborhood places. When you are walking around, you see, you, know, you are having neighbors next to you. That is known, okay? And when you go, you go with your mommy, daddy or someone to buy vegetables, fruits and all, you see the marketplace. So that every day you will be seeing, that is a neighborhood place. And when you are not keeping well, or when you, any of your brother, sister, someone not well, or any relatives is not keeping well, they are admitted to hospital, you go and see them. So that time you are going and visiting the hospital. So, and next comes the post office. If, if your mommy or daddy, they are putting some 
money in that FD or something that are depositing some money in the post office or else they are writing a letter, they are buying some stamps to send some parcel or something, then you go and visit the post office. So next park, every day evening with your mother or with your brother or sister, your people, all of them, you will be going and playing in that park. So it is a type of exercise also and recreation. So park is also a neighborhood place. So you will be seeing often that park and school. School every day you are coming to school. You will be coming to school from morning to evening. You will be staying so you know school is a neighborhood place. And police station. When you are moving around, you will be seeing police station in the board. Okay. So you can make out that this is the police station which is nearby to our house. And bank. Bank you can see. Sometimes you may go with your parents to withdraw the money or to deposit the money or any something uh, if they want to uh, interact with the bank people. So you will be visiting uh, the bank with your parents. So that then you might have come across with the bank, uh, how bank is, what it is, what it all goes on in the bank. And places of worship, as usual, weekly ones or something, your mommy will be going to temple. So you will be visiting the temple also. So you will be going and praying there. So that also you will be seeing. So all these things you will be seeing every day in your daily life. Okay. So all these are called neighborhood places. So this is our neighborhood places. Ours means where you are staying and nearby to you. Uh, all these things are there. So it belongs to you also. As a citizen of this, you will be telling this is our neighborhood. Okay, children, now till here I have completed uh, everything. This lesson number 10 I have completed. Now let us do the exercise. After that, I will start a bit of revision also. Okay. Exercises. First name, fill in the blanks, open your textbook. Fill in the blanks, page 216. I'll be writing down only the answers, okay? People who live near us in the same area are our dash. Those who live in say front road, next road, next to your house, they all are called our neighbors. They are our neighbors. Okay. Now second one. The places and the people around us make a neighborhood. Play are including the places when it comes to neighborhood. G H B O U R neighborhood. Third one. We buy fruits and vegetables from the dash. Where do you go and buy fruits and vegetables? We go and buy in the market. Fourth one, we buy fruits. Okay. Dash treats the sick and injured people. When you are not keeping well, where do you go? Go to the doctor. Doctor. Next. Fifth one, we buy dash and dash from the post office. What and all you buy in the post office? Stamps, postcards, envelopes. You can write any two. I'll be writing stamps and postcards, okay? Stamps and postcards. Now here. Sixth one, 
Dash is a place where we go to study. Every day you come to school. School is the place where you go and study. Well, the policeman catches Dash and Dash. Whom does the police people catch? They'll catch thieves and robbers. Well, a dash is a place where we can keep our money safe. Where you will keep your money safely? Bank. Bank is the place. Ninth one. Ninth one. We should throw dash in the bins. What you should throw in the dustbin? Waste. Waste things and all you should throw in the dustbin. And next, we should help our dash when they are in need. We should help our neighbors. If you help them, then in return, they will help you. Okay? You should help our neighbors when they are in need. After this, second main, you have got true or false. Now, copy down quickly and give one minute time. Okay? Okay, children. Now, let me erase this. We'll start up with second main that is true or false. We have not written, pause the video. We have given space now. You can pause, copy down to my textbook. Second main. The so first one, first one, the places and the people around us make a neighborhood. Is it true or false? True. Second one, we should not help our neighbors. False. Always you should help your neighbors. We buy fruits, vegetables and milk from the park. No, where do you want to buy? The market. Fourth one. We should keep our neighborhood clean. True. Fifth one. We should not disturb our neighbors. Correct. It's true. Okay. After this, Third main, name the places in our neighborhood. Name the places they have given. So, first one is, you can see the child is playing swing, park it is, park. Second one, you can see police people are there and a person is talking to them. So that is police station. Third one, school. Fourth one, post office. Fifth one, you can see the ambulance standing plus mark. So it is hospital. Okay, children. Now write down quickly. I'll give one minute time.
okay children i hope you all have copied so by this we are completing this chapter everything we have finished next is you know, question answers that you will be getting it in notes pdf and think about it write the names of five places in your neighborhood write two sentences about each you, you can choose any neighborhood places those are staying here surrounding and you can write two two sentences on that okay this is for you you are just doing homework uh, make it as homework you have to think and write okay now i'll start a seven revision take out your book of the one or two mains i'll give today next class i'll be giving again Revision. Okay, and the portions for F seven is I have not I am not including this last. Last two chapters. I'll write down on the board portions. Lesson two, my country. Lesson four, clothes we wear. Lesson five, my house. Lesson six, my school. Lesson seven, health and hygiene. Lesson eight, recreation. Okay, so you will be having for your midterm exam lesson one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 
eight. Okay, make a note of this. Note down. English I have to do. Hmm. I signed the book. Yes. Bye. Okay, children. Copy down this. So eight lessons you will be having, but uh, more of for uh, this thing. I'll be concentrating more on from lesson third to eight. Now, let us start. Little bit I'll be giving today. Okay. First name, fill in the blanks I'll give. First one. Our body is like a machine. Machine. Okay. Second one. We use our nose in the language to breathe. Breathe. Third one. The the surname is is written after the first name. Okay, fourth one, we get food from dash and dash, plants and animals. Okay, fifth one, we should not eat dash food. Junk food. Sixth one, we wear different different clothes in different. Seasons. Okay. 
And still, I'll be continuing. Copy down this first. Okay, children, now I'll erase this. Sixth one finished now. Seventh one I'll be writing down. You pause the video and copy down. Don't think that I am rubbing now. You can't see. No. I had given time now. That time you pause the video and you can write down. Next comes seventh one. We feel safe, safe and comfortable, comfortable. We feel safe and comfortable in our house. Okay. Eight one. Houses that can be that can be folded, folded and carried. From place to place are called dash tents. Okay. Now next is ninth one. A dash spoon. A spoon is a place where we learn. Learn new things. Next, tenth one, we must throw rubbish or you B V I S H rubbish. In the dustbin. Next, eleventh one. The teachers relax in the staff room. During free period. Okay, copy down children.
question four or five more are there. We we'll write down quickly. Okay, now I'll erase. One turn will start. Twelfth one, the food we eat help us to dash grow thirteenth one. Hygiene is the daily practice of Maintaining cleanliness. Fourteen point. Nutritious Nutritious food Comma Good exercise And Adequate rest. Make our body healthy. Body healthy. Fifteenth one. Football and cricket are outdoor games. Sixteenth one Happiness keeps our our mind and body healthy.
copy down. Okay, 16, fill in the blanks I have given. Copy down this quickly. Okay, children, now copy down this. I want you all to keep one book for A7 revision because there will be more to write down. A7 means midterm for more marks you'll be writing, not like test 20 marks. So you will be having more uh, uh, means also and number of questions also will be more, okay? So keep one book, divide that book and uh, keep all the subjects in that only you can write down or your wish English and EBS in one book also you can maintain revision. But see that every time when I'm giving the revision, you are continuing in the same book, next page itself, okay? Don't write, fill in the blanks in one book and in another book somewhere else, next way, no, don't do that. You need to study, no, okay? So for today, I'm stopping here. Next class, I'll give remaining part of the revision, okay? Okay, children, see you in next class. Keep your revision books ready to continue with next means, okay? Thank you.